Guys, my porta potty came today for my cargo trailer conversion. I can't wait to see how it works. Let's go try it out. This tape is really tough on here. Let me cut this. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. You're better than that. Welcome to part due of my cargo trailer conversion to a hurricane bug out RV. Anyway, let's get into this porta potty because it's exciting stuff and mm. it was surprisingly difficult to find a portable like RV toilet available online right now. I don't know with civil unrest and uh, viruses running rampant. Apparently people are afraid they won't be able to get a portable toilet. I'm not sure. But anyway, after ordering a couple different ones and then finding out they were on back order, I found this one. Oh, the porta potty. What is this? Oh, the porta potty 565E from Fatford. Clearly, this is the business end. Yep, that's where the magic happens. What do we got in here? Batteries, because every toilet needs batteries, right? Well, this one does because it flushes electronically. We'll figure out what this is in a bit. Uh, instruction manual. I've never had to have an instruction manual for a toilet, but you know, here we go. So this is a cassette toilet, which simply means it plays your favorite mixtapes for those long business meetings. No, actually what it means is that once you do your business, the top lifts off. You take this and you go dump this in Walmart restroom. You know, it'd look odd carrying this through the front door. I understand that, but I've heard you can do it. I wouldn't do it. I'd go dig a hole somewhere. But anyway, that's what you can do with it. It's not what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I digress. This is an integral part of my cargo trailer conversion plans. We'll look at this some more in a little bit. Also, I got in the legs. Now I looked all over for some pedestal legs for RVs and found several different types and most of them use a base for the floor like this and for the bottom of the table. This one is kind of different because it has this really flat locking piece for the, for the base at the actual floor part and I wanted to have more room for in case I needed to be able to take the table out or say when I drop the table down, take the legs out and we need to be able to lay under the table. This is a lot better to lay on than this is. Better, not better. Let me move my toiletries out of the way. Oh, how to line up, how to line up, right there. You screw this down and you can see how this has these interlocking pieces. and it just drops in, turn it, and then, of course this will be stable. You turn this to tighten it, and once you do that, it's super stable. Now we'll see how it works once I get a table on top of it, but so far this seems like a really good system. We'll get back to the table in a little bit, but first, let's talk some more about the toilet because they're fun to talk about. Basically what this is, is here's your seat up here, obviously. There's your seat, actually. And this actually flushes. This is the, the cassette, which is, it's a bucket of poo, okay? Let's be honest, it's a bucket of poo. So the idea of dumping your waste out of what is essentially a bucket may seem really disgusting and gross, and it kind of is. But the funny thing is, a lot of really high-end RVs actually use similar systems to this. They're 
more integrated. But a cassette toilet, what makes it nice is like if you're off grid, you don't have to, you don't have a black water tank uh, that you have to connect and dump out from your RV. You just take out the cassette, go dig uh, a hole, dump it in, cover it up, put it back in, you're good to go. It keeps it super simple and it's just more efficient. But I've got these uh, TST Max. These are, they break down waste and tissue drop-ins. So this will go in the bottom and basically it, it literally is like a porta potty that would be like at a job site. It's disgusting, but slightly better than a bucket. Should smell better. Am I being too gross? I don't know, let me know in the comments. You fill this up with water and then once you've done your business, you flush it, it goes down into the bottom holding tank and then it's actually got a, uh, kind of like a fuel gauge here on the bottom and that lets you know how full it is so that you don't, you know, overflow. Let's get back to building the bed for the RV conversion. Hey guys, if you're not even halfway through this video yet and you've already been slightly offended or really offended, go ahead and hit that dislike button for me twice. Really smash it and let me know how you feel. If you've been slightly amused, subscribe and hit the like button. So the space between, space between my benches in my trailer is 27 and a quarter inches. I'm gonna cut this tabletop at 27 and an eighth just to leave, you know, barely a 16th on each side so that it's nice and tight when it goes down. Let me get it cut it. Let me let it, let me get it cut it. <laughs> I don't even, <laughs> let me get it cut it y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this plywood for you real quick. I'm gonna get it cut it. I'm gonna learn it real quick. I'm a real learned type of fella. Hey, if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to go check out my video where I show you my comparison of a track saw versus a table saw. This is like a perfect time when a track saw comes in handy because even though I have a table saw, this would be a pain to, to uh, rip on. So go check that video out. I'll put a link up here. I'll put a link up here. Yes, up here. Now that I've got both of these pieces cut, I'm gonna glue them, staple them, screw them, put an apron on it, and get it ready for the legs to put it in the trailer. Oh, and I'll probably route around the edges to make sure that it's nice and even. Okay, you can help me put in these one inch screws. This is an inch and a half thick, so we're gonna use one inch screws, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, you go ahead. Keep going. Hold it with two hands. Keep going. Oh, oh okay, 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 oh, holy moly, holy macaroni. That's okay. All right, go ahead. Just get it, where, watch, how, watch how I do it one time, okay? See, you just go beep, 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 beep until it goes just below the surface, okay? Okay, you put that one in. Up here. 
Mm-hmm. One more, one more. There you go, perfect. Okay, you can put another one right here. <laughs> squeeze it, squeeze it. There you go. One more. There you go, perfect. Good job. There you go, perfect. All right, perfect. Now I'm just going to, did I tell you it's perfect? Now I'm gonna go over it with a router. Give me five, good job. You want some five? Okay. Just found this ginormous wolf spider in Storm's water bowl. It's not really a regular water bowl, it just happens to be out here. I don't know if you can tell how big this thing is, but I'm gonna put my hand in here just so you can tell size difference. Huge. This is what I love. These go in. Turn. And then you tighten that. That makes it good and tight. Okay, let's put the tabletop on it. So it does wobble a little bit or a lot of bit. But if you're sitting here, of course, you're not gonna be shaking it like that. Um, but I think it'll be fine. Now, the only thing uh, that I need to do to finish this table top to make it fully functional is to put a cleat um, on the front of the, each one of these benches so that when I take the legs off from underneath here, I can drop it down and set on the cleats and I'll have a full flat bed. So that's the next thing to do. I just cut an inch and a half off of each side of a two by four so that that leaves a rounded edge and I didn't have to route that a rounded corner. Bravissimo. There you have it, just like it was supposed to work. This tabletop's pretty heavy, uh, which is good. And the other good part is, uh, let me see if the, the other part's good, we'll find out. Oh yeah. Well, the plan was that if you had to, does my hair look good? I hope my hair looks good. Oh, the plan was that that way, if somebody had to, they could sleep up underneath here. And in my mind, I was thinking I might do that, but uh, oh, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, it would probably be my seven-year-old Cameron who would sleep up underneath there and she would think it was really cool because uh, daddy ain't doing it. Uh, uh.
I'm stuck. My work, my mommy. Whew. I just thought I'd take a little break here. I'm trying to figure out the best spot to put this toilet. I'm thinking somewhere in this vicinity, right here, probably over here actually. And then I'm gonna put a wall just on the other side of the door that will encapsulate the toilet and everything will be all good. So in the next video, I'm gonna get the bunk beds put up behind you there, you can't see them right now, but I'm gonna get that bunk bed put up there that will slide up and down. And uh, maybe I'll get started on this wall behind me for the bathroom where I can put this toilet. And then I can finally quit talking about the toilet because you're probably sick of it by now. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like the video again, give me two thumbs down. Hit the button twice. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.